I am going to be trying to show you today how to um, make a game and package it and release it to uh, Android using Unreal and um, Gear VR. So we're trying to make a virtual reality game with Unreal for your Android phone using Gear VR. Um, there's a lot of steps to it, so hopefully you've done a couple of them. Um, but I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. So open up uh, Unreal. And I apologize if it's extremely basic, but um, I don't want to lose anybody. Um, so just launch. You can add versions here. You, you're going to need, I'm using 4.1, 1.2. I think 4.11 is where all the good VR stuff starts. Um, 4.12 is coming out soon, which should be fine as well. And then I'm just going to do a new project for the sake of um, demonstration. I'm going to do a blueprint project as a first-person shooter. You can do others, I'm sure, but this is probably the best place to start. Um, going to do it as a mobile game with scalable um, quality. You can do starter content or not. It's up to you. I don't care. I'm going to do it without just to keep it a smaller file. Um, Call it VR demo, uh, and then just make sure you know where it goes. Now there's there's a few, there's kind of a lot of different things you'll need to know. You, uh, first off, you need to have your Android um, Studio installed. Android Studio needs to be installed. You need to have um, the NVIDIA. Uh, Tegra, where is it? Graphics debugger pack. Uh, if you go to NVIDIA, there should be. Let's see if I have it saved. I'll, pr I'll provide links for everything in, in the uh, description of this. Uh, actually, it's called CodeWorks. So you can get CodeWorks here from. From NVIDIA. Um, you also need Android Studio. So the Android SDK. You're going to need to make sure that your phone is being read by the computer. Um, let me plug mine in, in now. If you haven't done so already, you're going to need to turn on developer options, um, USB uh, debugging. I'll, I can cover that separately, but that's kind of something that should be already be handled at this point. Um, the way to check to see if everything is up and running is to do uh, ADB devices in your command line. And if you see a device here, then you're good to go. So mine's showing. I'm happy with that. Okay. So let's get... Um, the project set up here. <coughs> Pardon me. So you go to file, or actually, my bad, edit, and then you go to project settings. Um, you can put your company name, put all your stuff here. Um, none of this is really necessary. What you do need to check is that supported platforms, make sure you have Android on there, target hardware, that's correct. Um, I'm going to do packaging for shipping and distribution um, these options might not be available until you do the following step so if you don't see that try this next step or you know go through the rest of the tutorial and come back to it um, otherwise that should be there uh, let's see then you scroll down to Android here's where most of it is go to con configure the APK packaging it'll do it automatically um, you can set a build folder, VR demo, that's fine. Here's where you change your company name. And Okay, so here's some crucial stuff, though. We leave this here. If you hover over it, it tells you what, gear, what version we need for Gear VR. We need 19 in this one. Um, I 
you can do this if you want. It'll just delete the signing file after it's uh, used once. I'll just leave that alone, but I would go ahead and do that for future reference. Um, now here's the thing that we're going to, uh, it's a little complicated. So Android needs a key for distribution. You can give it whatever title you want. So for key store, I'm just going to say key store alias. I'm going to say alias. And for password, um, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Or, you know, I'm going to do, yeah, that's fine. You can configure for play services if you want. Um, you can upload icons if you want. You know, all of them, I'm not going to bother. Here's where you can put in your background images. Also not going to bother. Um, there is one checkbox that I missed, though. Right here. Very important. Configure um, the Android manifest for deployment to Gear VR. Definitely need that. You can click this, too. It'll get rid of the Oculus signature once it's done. I'd recommend doing that. Um, unless I've missed something, I think that might be about it. Now we need to find those signature things. Okay, well, let's just assume that's good. Let's save it up. You're going to want to build it out at some point. Um, but let's do the signature. So the first signature thing is very easy. You go to developer.oculus.com slash osig. You're going to need to put in, when you do your um, ADB devices, it gives you your device ID. That's what you put here. You download this file. I'll do it right now. Um, Obviously, use your own um, ID number. And then you're going to want to take this. I've already done it, obviously. And you're going to want to put it um, where your project is. So I'm doing this project, build Android. And then in this folder, you're going to want to make a folder called Assets. Let me make sure that's correct. Um, yeah, okay. And so now we need one more. Um, oh, my key store already worked. In case you don't have a key store here, I'm going to redo it anyways just to show you. You might not have one. I didn't have one to begin with. In order to generate one, you need to do a few clicks in your command line here so you should already have your NV pack installed uh, if you don't it's the NVIDIA CodeWorks thing um, it should be under C drive NV pack if you don't have that get it you need that for everything oh before I get carried away let's do that part of it um, under project settings if we go to I think it's under Android It's going to ask for where all that stuff is, so. Um, Android SDK. So here, when it asks for the Android SDK, you're going to have to tell it it's right here. Um, and then it's going to ask for the NDK. and the ant and the JDK um, JDK and it's all in the same folder so that should work okay close that out now we're going to make our um, key store for Google. I believe it's for Google. In any case, you need it to, to package your your games. So we're going to do, I want to get into that folder. So we do CD, C, um,
Now we're trying to get our um, signature for Google. Uh, what's it called? It's called the um, key store. So get this far into your command line if you need to. Um, you can go into some like find your NV pack, find your JDK, go to bin. Then you can just right click in there, go to open command line here, and you're good. Um, what you're going to need to put in then is key tool dash gen key dash v dash key store and then the name that you put in for your key store your variable dash alias and then your alias variable store pass which is the password you gave it and validity um, 9,999 days is how long it'll be valid for. So if you're wondering where those um, variables came from, they're right here when you're doing Android uh, project settings. Here's where you put your variable for your key store, your alias, and your password. Okay, so you press enter. Uh, what happened? Password was incorrect. I, last, maybe it's just because I did a different password before. I'm going to do three X's. Save that. And try it again. Um, it went <laughs> worked perfectly first time for me, so... Of course, the when I try to record it, it doesn't work. Nope. Alias already exists. Keep her not generated. Okay, well I'm assuming that will work. Um, I just already have a key. Let's see. So maybe that's the problem. If I just delete this. I already had a key store in there. Maybe I can just redo it all. So. Let's do this again for the first time. Um, key tool dash key gen dash v dash key store give it our variables okay good so that that's when you know you got it right it'll ask you your last name um, your organization And then you just say yes. Um, oops. Okay, and then you put in your password twice, and it'll create this key store file for you right here. This you're going to take, copy, cut, whatever you want to do. Um, and you're going to pop it into where your project is. For me, it's in Documents, Unreal Projects. Um, this is the demo, build, Android, and then it's in here. So you're going to have your key store file, and in here, assets folder, you're going to have your Oculus signature file. Those are all your signature files you're going to need. Everything else should be set. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and press, you can either just build it, or you can straight up go ahead and launch it. So launch it to your phone. Boom, it's going to take a while because it's got to build all the lighting and all the um, textures and everything else. Then it's got to compress and, and shoot it out to Android. Um, but that should work, hopefully. Um, if it doesn't, I'll do it again, but consider it done. If you guys have any questions, comments, or complaints, just leave them below. Uh, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing, I'm going to be working on Gear VR and um, maybe some other virtual reality platforms all done with Unreal. So go ahead and follow me and like. Um, thanks for your time, guys. Have a good one.